Okay, this is my replication of Fernando's force multiplier. These are both DC motors. This one's I'm, I'm going to use as the motor, and this one I'm going to be using as the generator. Flywheel's been made up of 6mm plates which have been laser cut. Here's one of them here. So you can add or take away as many as you like to change the um, weight of the flywheels. This weight here can be adjusted up or down or I can add more weight to it. The plates come off easily. They're held on by a split collar. The arm can also be used in the central position here. One of the hardest things to make on this is the offset here. The way I went about it is if you look here, this was a test piece I made up to start with. Now, so what I've done, I've used, I searched around for the best type of um, glues to use. And um, I've set it, if you have a look close up there, see, I've, now what I've done is I've used a little bit of this glue. Uh, where are we? To set it in position. There it is there. It's just that little bit there. Now I've used it set it in position and to make it square in these V-blocks and this makes it virtually perfectly square and glued it against the inside diameter of the bearing. The inside diameter is 25mm and it's a 5 8 shaft. Now after I've done that and I put it in position that was strong enough to hold it where I've used something a lot stronger well suited um, there we go can you see it there it's a metal a metal filler steel filler um, you can get it at a hardware shop and I've used that and I've pressed that in all the rest of the area here and it came out surprisingly strong so I've given this a go just to see how it'll come out. Like this is a test piece which I've put through a lot of punishment and it's still holding together. So that was just one way of trying to get around a uh, difficult and expensive task. This glue had to be a very fine liquidy type of glue so that you can maintain the accuracy between the shaft and the inside diameter of the bearing you need to have it very very accurate and um, with the filler it's important that it doesn't shrink and this seems to work quite well and it's very strong as held on very well this is a linear bearing shaft it's hardened steel and very high quality now, this is only a test piece, so we'll just see how the filler and the glue holds up. It seems to go alright on low speed, but um, I haven't taken up to high speed, so I don't know how it holds up, but we give it a go. As you can see, I've taken the seal out of these bearings as well because I wanted to make them low friction and I, I took the grease out and put some fine oil in there but I found that it was much better to use the grease in there so I re-greased them up. The other side still got the seal on. This side's open. I've also made these. 
to help set it up to get the distances right makes it easier and when you're tightening it up everything needs to be real solid and real tight in the next video I'll show it running